Apologies, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, all my foundation subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Uh, to all of my new subscribers, thank you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Sagittarius, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. So take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Uh, feel free to check your sun or moon rising or your sign in Venus. That may help you to connect the dots. There is a possibility, however, this is not your reading and that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. And all that information is located in my description box. Okay, Sagis, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And I just want to jump right in. Lego, baby. Lego. We have five of coins in reverse, ace of wands, and knight of cups. So it looks like right off the bat, I'm picking up uh, the energy of someone that wants to come out of the cold. Okay, so some of you could have... You've healed, you're recovering from a situation with someone where they weren't putting you first, they weren't making you a priority, they were juggling you. Uh, you could have been or could have healed from uh, having this person up, right? You know, you pissed off, angry with them, not forgiving them. And there was a lot of fighting in the situation, a lot of arguing. But Sagis, you were in a situation with someone where they were really... It could have been abusive, physically abusive, um, financially abusive, emotionally abusive, verbally abusive, definitely. Someone was very, very nasty to you. Very nasty. I feel like you're healing from this. I also, I feel like you've let go of this toxic person. I'm hearing letting go of toxicity. So some of you just dropped this person. You may have realized that you don't want to continue a relationship like this or with this type of energy but someone wants to come out of the cold with you for some of you but this person they were juggling you this person has a chip on their shoulder about something they're not someone that lets things go mm -hmm. they're not a, a let uh, bygones be bygones or let's just let it be water under the bridge this is not that type of person they will hold on for something until god comes okay yes and this person brought a lot of drama and conflict and chaos into your life. There was a lot of fighting, arguing. For some of you, you were in a situation with someone who was physically abusive. So uh, hats off for you for kicking that motherfucker to the curb. Okay? Ain't nobody got time for that. We have here Ace of Wands. This person wants to come back around Sagittarius. Oh, yes, they do. Some of you could have been dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Some of you could also have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the three signs. It doesn't have to be, but these are the three um, energies that I'm picking up very strongly in this reading. So this person wants to come around, but the thing is... They're hot for you. Oh, yes. This person wants to sleep with your ass. Look at this. You have Ace of Wands. You have Two of Water in reverse. This is also a cool into the Lover's card. So you were dealing with a soulmate, a karmic soulmate. You were also in a situation with someone who... Uh, the sex could have been amazing, but... <sighs> this person's a pretender. Mm -hmm. I just heard they're an actor. So they put on this front like, it's so funny, I just did a Leo reading and they were with somebody who was pretending as well. Maybe you should check that out, you know, um, you never know, it may help you to connect the dots. But someone shows up as the queen of water in reverse, that's not, uh, no, that is someone who's not intuitive, they don't listen to their intuition, they're not very loving, they're not compassionate. They don't really care about people and there's very much someone who will, they do things like if you don't do what they say, they're passive aggressive 
for some of you. Some of you were dealing with someone who was dead ass, just hot head, hot temper. You don't do what I say, I'm going to slap you around. No, ain't nobody dealing with that bullshit, okay? But this is somebody who, if you don't do what they say or they don't get their way with you, they may give you the silent treatment or um, drop words, you know, uh, throw shade. Mm -hmm. But they're coming around like they want a new beginning. For some of you, this person wants to get you pregnant and trap your ass. Mm -hmm. Someone, if you have a child or children with this person, they feel like you belong to them and you can't go anywhere anyway. So you just have to put up with their shit because where the fuck are you going? Mm -hmm. Someone really believes, Sagittarius, that you belong to them and you have no right to think you can free yourself. They're coming back around though like they want a new beginning, they want to do things differently, but they're lying because their energy shows up underneath the surface as someone who really doesn't fucking care. No, this is someone who's very emotionally manipulative. This is someone who will withdraw their love if you don't do what they say to do. Ignore you, act like you're not there. Um, I'm hearing block, block you. Some of you could have been dealing with someone who will, they would block you. Uh, you're trying to call them, it's going straight to voicemail until you do what they say. Like they dealt with you like you were dumb mm -hmm. or you weren't important, you were nobody. They're going to put on this act though that they, they're a person of integrity now and they want to do the right thing. Like I said, I'm hearing someone saying, I'm sorry, I'll never do that again, but it's bullshit. It is. You have the lovers in reverse. This person, Sagis, I'm going to say it straight, no chaser. This person just wants to fuck you. They like fucking you. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to say whatever they got to say and do whatever they got to do to get you back in that bedroom or against the wall or wherever the fuck. But that's what's up. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. This new beginning, it's a lie. And someone really wants to trap someone. Look at this. You have Knight of Cups. They're going to come towards you with an offer. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this person may propose to you. But they're going to come like they're all loving and they're caring. And uh, they want to nurture and nourish the relationship. And they want to pour into your cup. But this person, they're not aligned. First off, they're not aligned with themselves. And they're definitely not aligned with you. Mm -mm. This person, I feel like they're not supposed to be in your life anymore. I feel like you know this, mm -hmm, Sagis. I feel like um, a relationship has run its course. Mm -hmm, and it's time to release neg negativity and toxicity. As you're dealing with someone who is very toxic, look at this. You got five, five of fire. This person would go for the jugular. They would say the meanest, nastiest things to you. They go and chat you behind your back. Say the nastiest things about you. Talk shit about you. Just do whatever they can to hurt you. And they love to fight. They love to argue. You could have been with someone who was very argumentative. They brought a lot of drama. This person is drama. They could be very dramatic as well. Drama king, drama queen. Sagis, you ain't got time for that. Mm -hmm. No. You got way more important things to go to deal with in your life. I just heard someone say they're like an overgrown child throwing a tantrum all the time when they don't get their way. Mm -hmm. They want to go into these um, bouts of silent treatment. <laughs> Sagis, you better than me. Because I'm someone I'll be like, bitch, stay quiet. Stay. I'm enjoying my peace and quiet over here. Don't say not a motherfucking word to me. I'm not here for it. Mm -hmm. Not today, bitch. Not today. You're better than me. <laughs> Good for you, Sagis. But you, it's like you know this. You drop this person and now they want to come back. Mm -hmm. But they're coming back with like, you know what I'm seeing in my third eye? A wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone who was wearing like a whole costume. It's not who they are inside. Not at all. Queen of water in reverse. Mm -mm. This is someone who does not fucking care about people. Nope. Unless you're doing something for them. This is also someone I feel like their intuition has been blocked. And it's because of their negativity, their low ass energy. Mm -hmm. They're not getting messages. You could have been dealing with someone who's very, um, what is it? They're very logical. They like to rationalize things. 
This is not someone who's connected to their emotions. You could have been dealing with someone who was um, emotionally unavailable or emotionally stingy. So they never really showed you any type of affection, only when it came time to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this person believed like that was the... Sagittarius, go and check out my Leo reading. <laughs> because this is connected here. Some of you, the only time this person showed you that they checked for you in any way was in the bedroom. That's it. That's as far as it goes. Because someone feels like they just need to show up. Show up with their dick in their hand. Okay? Straight no chaser around here. Right? Or show up and just put the pussy on the table. Yeah. And it should be all good. Let's get over our problems. No. That's, that just creates more problems. You're not solving shit. Mm-mm. But this person, they're not aligned within themselves. The way how they handle things, they, they could drink a lot, they could smoke a lot. It's just whatever vice that they use to deal with whatever issues, inner issues that they have. They do a lot of it. Yes, they do. Overindulging. But on top of the fact that they're not aligned with themselves, they're not aligned with you. This person is not, they're not a right fit for your life. No, they're not. You are also dealing with somebody who... They see things as very black and white. It's either this way or it's not. Mm -hmm. There's no shades of gray for them. There's no in between. This is also someone you could have been the exact opposite of. And it's not a situation where opposites attract. It's, it got to a point where opposites repel each other. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. Stay away from me with your toxic ass. Mm -hmm. But they want to be with you. Look at this. This is a major arcana. This is union. This person may try to come and propose to you to try to lock your ass down. They don't want you to go nowhere. But they are coming with an offer of union. They want to get back with you. They want to be with you. They absolutely do. It's just their intentions, you know. If they showed up with Queen of Water upright and the Lover's Card upright, I'd have been like, Sagis, go for it. This person loves you. But it's not real love. Two of Water in reverse. This is just hot sex on the floor, okay? Okay. Hot sex all over the place, but this person doesn't care to put in any real work for anything. They were juggling you. This person also, they're not very stable. No. You could have, when you were in a relationship with this person, ex experienced a lot of instability financially. Someone needs to borrow money all the time, or they need you to help uh, supplement their income. Yes. But I feel like you're dealing with someone who was very bitter and toxic, and they held a grudge for a long time. It's like if, if you messed up with them, they would never let it go. They would never let you live it down. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you constantly have to be trying to make up for whatever mistake you made. But with them, they like I said, they think they could just come with their dick in their hand or put the pussy on the table and everything's cool. And no. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. But there was no balance in this relationship either. Someone was giving too much and someone was not giving anything. Very, very little, if anything at all. It just, you know what I just heard, Sagis? Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it, okay? This person, they may put on a really, really good show. Mm -hmm. And if when they get, if or when they get their hands on you, they're going to love you every which way, the right way. Because this person is good, very, very good in bed. Mm -hmm. Why? They had a lot of practice. Before they met you and while they were with you. Believe me, they were sleeping with other people. Mm -hmm. I just heard man whore or whore, period. Oh, damn. Someone was for the streets, Sagis. Someone was for the streets. And you could have found this out and you dropped them like they were hot. Mm -hmm. You dropped them with their burning crotches. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Um, who is it? Ah, Sequoia, Sequoia Moon. Shout out to Sequoia Moon. Love your readings, baby. She has this expression, fire crotch, right? Some of you could have found out about that this person was sleeping around on you because they gave you an STD. Mm -hmm. Or you had an STD scare. Mm -hmm. Because somebody... Wow. Okay, some of you, this is a very specific story, but... You got an STD scare because this person found out they had an STD and they had to tell you before you went and found out yourself. Some of you dropped this person with their hot crotch, okay? Right there on the spot. Mm-hmm. 
Spirit said some of you found out later. Mm -hmm. Found out later. Oh boy. Okay, some of you, I just heard bacterial vaginals. Spirit, come on now, man. <laughs> I don't want to get into people's business like this. I don't want to do it. But some of you in this collective, when you would sleep with this person, for my females, you would get bacterial vaginosis. Okay, that means your shit's not, it's not, your pH balance is off. Your shit's not popping the way it's supposed to be popping. I'm hearing dryness, itchiness. Shit was just not the way it was supposed to be down there in that area, right? Very sensitive area. And that's because of the person you were sleeping with. They were dirty. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. And they were going around sleeping with other people unprotected as well. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Sagis. This person is coming around with an offer for you because they do not want to be out in the cold. For some of you, this person is addicted to you sexually, uh, but you are dealing with someone who is a sex addict. Mm -hmm. So they're addicted to a lot of people, but you just happen to be the, the real special one that they're addicted to. Mm -hmm. I feel like you guys could have had really, really good sex, but outside of that, there was nothing else. No, there wasn't. Because this person doesn't have any intentions of really... Let's say hypothetically you decided to marry this person. They would still be juggling you. They would still have you up. This You would still be dealing with the many forms of abuse that you were dealing with. This person has not changed. This is an act. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. They don't have any intentions of really showing up in a committed relationship. This is not someone who wants commitment. They just want what they want when they want it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I'm going to pull some more cards for her. Any more messages for Sagittarius? I wanted to keep this, like, 15 minutes, but I feel like I need to move forward with this. Spirit, is there any more messages for... Woo, that one just flew out. Give me a second. Let me pick it up. Okay, look at this. You're balanced. Mm -hmm. Are you coming into balance in the near future? Your masculine and feminine energies. You now know when to listen to your intuition. You now know when to use your rationale. You know when to make heart overhead decisions. You know when to move forward with something. You know when to pull back. You know when to let go of someone's toxic ass. Yes. I'm seeing the devil card in my third eye. It was a very unhealthy relationship dynamic. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's kind of sickening, like, you, uh, like lovesick, you feel like you need to be around this person, you need to have them, yeah, it's, it's sickening, that's not healthy, right, yeah, because you're balanced, you're not moving forward with this person, some of you, you don't have passion for this person anymore, you're all passioned out, mm -hmm. like I said, someone found out about an STD, that they got from someone or an STD scare and any type of feelings, any type of passion you had for this person, that was a fucking wrap. Mm -hmm. Nope, because they don't know how to wrap it up. Oh boy. Yeah, you're not moving forward with this person. I feel like some of you, you still have this person up. You have not forgiven them. <laughs> You have not forgiven them for what they did or what they put you through. And you don't know when you're going to be able to do that. But it's not happening anytime soon. Nope. There's no forward movement. They can come all they want. You ain't going nowhere. Right? You want to know why? Because you're a motherfucking empress. Yes, baby. Yes. And masculines, don't get it twisted. You could show up as this too. This is... You know, put the energy where it goes. But you know your worth now, and you're taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Some of you, you are, uh, wow, someone drinks a lot of water now. Um, they're doing exercise, green juice. I'm seeing someone drinking green juice and going jogging. Mm -hmm. Someone goes to their gynecologist regularly now. Mm -hmm. Someone's calling me. Someone's calling me, but they're going to have to call me back. Because I'm busy. I'm talking to Sagittarius. Okay? But, yeah. 
You know your worth. You're taking care of yourself. You're looking out for you. Numero uno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. Someone gets regular checkups now, too. You just want to make sure that you're good. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Another major arcana. Sagis, you've changed your life. That's good. Absolutely. You're following your own dreams now. You're following your own path. You've changed. Yes, you have. A lot of you, your confidence is higher. Your self-esteem is higher. You're more independent. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. You're going for what you want in your life. Now you're going towards things that make you happy. And you definitely ain't sleeping with this person. You want to sleep with somebody else. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you just want to explore. Mm -hmm. You single, you ready to mingle, baby. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Good for you. And you've divinely guided. Spirit is guiding you. Your ancestors are guiding you. Your guides are guiding you. to so keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. And move away from this person. Yeah. This person wants you to stay with them, though. Yeah, look at this. This is a match. Maiden and youth. This is a... Uh, you were dealing with a soulmate here. But they're not ready yet. They're not ready. They need to go back in the oven and bake. Them, them not ready yet. Mm -mm. This person, they're not mature enough yet. Mm -hmm. But they want you to stay with them. And I feel like this person may put on a show. Ah, someone is going to come in like Prince Charming or like uh, the woman of your dreams. But once they lock you down again, it's the same shit. Mm -hmm. They don't want you. It's, it's like they don't want you to go out and explore the world because... Because then you're going to realize that what you were settling for, it was exactly that. You were settling. Mm -hmm. Because life is so much more better without them. They don't want you to realize that. They want to keep you stuck with them. Mm -hmm. Misery loves company. This is someone who's very codependent as well. They need you for something. Emotional, um, financial. Mm -hmm. Some of you are dealing with an energetic vampire and they're just feeding off of your energy. So they don't want... They don't want their supply to go away. What are they going to do? They're going to starve. Mm -hmm. But they want you to stay with them. Mm -hmm. Stay with them. Deal with all the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they are. Here you are. Yeah. yeah. Some of you are dealing with a fire, another fire sign. Yeah. Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this person is not connected to themselves. They don't know who they are. They don't know if they're coming or going. This is also someone who, um, they don't connect with people on a deep level. That's why you got this. Look, the lover's card in reverse. This is someone who's just, are we fucking or not? That's as far as their connection goes with people. There's no intimacy here. Mm -mm. There's no real deep connection. And that's because this person is not connected to themselves. They don't have a deep connection with themselves. Mm -hmm. This is also someone who is, they have a disconnect from source, so they don't know how to connect with other people either. This is someone who doesn't listen to their intuition. Very logical person. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are. Wow, there's matches all over this. You were dealing with a soulmate here, right? But they were a karmic soulmate. You were supposed to learn what you learned and move the fuck on. A lot of you, this person helped you to remember that you're the motherfucking empress. Okay? My masculines, I'm talking to you too. Okay? You know your worth. They were supposed to help you remember your worth. So that you do not put up with this shit. You're not attracted to this shit. Nor do you attract this into your life anymore. Mm-hmm. This person, they have self-esteem issues big time. That's why they're hanging on to you. Hanging on to you. Mm -hmm. But they show up as just not being mature enough. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Mm -hmm. They're not ready. They need to go back and bake. This is also someone, they could be very bitchy when they're ready. and get in their moods. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing temperamental or hot head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone was walking around on eggshells with someone all the time because you didn't know what the fuck, what was going to pop off with them because they're just, their shit's always just, 
they're just upset easy to get upset about stuff yeah you're not even questioning <laughs> you're not even questioning this you're like i'm out bitch i'm out i ain't even doing this nope oh boy you're not questioning nothing yeah you dropped this you dropped this like it was hot yes you did you're not even thinking about it. you're not thinking about this person sachis good for you right these are empress moves <laughs> okay empress moves here mm -hmm. and the empress only thinks about stuff that's important mm -hmm. and this person they're not a thought for you because they're not important mm -hmm. oh shit okay i'm gonna pull one last card of guidance and advice uh, this is from the Whispers from Within Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and concise messages. What last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Sagittarian Collective? You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing that song. Um, is it Giovanni? I love you too much. It's a shame that you, it's a shame that we. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay your purpose your purpose involves being your true authentic self right this is you being the empress you know who you are you know your worth that's why you ain't settling for no bullshit from nobody not anymore mm -mm. not at this stage in the game not at this point in your life mm -hmm. so spirit is this is like confirmation that you are on the right path and you're doing the right thing you're putting yourself first and you're remembering who and what you really are Spirit wants some of you to volunteer in order to find a deeper purpose and meaning in life. Mm -hmm. As you fulfill a daily purpose, your greater life purpose will reveal itself over time. Have the courage to speak your truth and to express yourself and affirm that you are living your purpose each day. Right? This was supposed to happen. If you stayed with this person, Sagis, you would have just been wasting your life. Mm -hmm. Staying stuck with them. Not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're here for a reason. Mm-hmm. Even if that reason is just you being happy with yourself mm -hmm, and living your best life, you are not going to be doing it with this person. Mm -hmm. So good for you. Good for you for moving on. Tell a nigga to kick rocks. <laughs> okay? Or a bitch to kick rocks. Ain't nobody got time for this. Good for you, Sagittarius. Good for you. I feel like you've come a really long way and you've gone through a lot of growth. These are major arcanas here. A lot of major arcanas on this table here. Your life has changed because you have changed. Hmm. Okay, Sagis, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, it's cool. Another time, another time. Uh, with that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.